Welcome Hurricanes fans around the world and the time has finally come. We can talk stats from the spring game. I hope that everyone who attended the game had fun. I heard that there was around, I think over 12,000 people at the spring game, which for Miami spring game, I feel like uh, is quite a bit. Uh, we're really attracting a lot of attention. And there are a lot of stats to cover. Now, keep in mind, more and more stats are rolling in. This is kind of an early video, but I do have quite a few stats, and I want to go ahead and touch on the big ones. And we might make a video a little bit later when we have 100% everything for sure, but I'm going to hit all of the big stats that we do have. Kicking off the spring game video, of course, the number one thing everyone wants to talk about and probably what we are going to focus on the most is the quarterbacks. So let's hop right into the numbers. Rozier was 9 of 14 for 105 yards with no touchdowns and he was sacked a total of four times. Um, now, Nikosi Perry, who worked mostly with the second unit, was 11 of 26 for 166 yards uh, with one touchdown pass and one interception. Uh, he also led the team in rushing, uh, as crazy as that sounds, with 45 yards on eight carries. The touchdown pass that he completed was a 41-yard completion to Daryl Langham with 26 seconds left. Again, you know... Late game Langham, he has the name for a reason. He was sacked once, uh, but he appeared to play better and stronger as the game progressed. And hopping over to Jaron Williams, we don't want to forget about him. Uh, keep in mind that he was going against the second team defense, but he still showed some flashes of good things given the short amount of time that he's been on campus. He was 9 of 14 for 107 yards with a 14-yard touchdown to Brian Hightower. Uh, he also had some sacks as well. I believe he was sacked three times in total. Now, the biggest takeaway from the quarterbacks just based on the spring game, in my opinion, again, this is purely my opinion, and uh, it might cause some arguments in the comment section, it's okay. Uh, I will say, I'm going to get this disclaimer out of the way. I do trust Mark Rick to put a quarterback in the starting position that gives us the best chance to win games. I, I, I believe and trust that he will do that. But based on clips uh, and stats and things that I have seen, my biggest takeaway is that Nikosi Perry is just the more athletic quarterback. Uh, there's more potential there. Um, there's just, uh, he brings a lot more to the table. I do still think, just again, based on the spring game, that we have seen the ceiling for Rozier. I know that we, we could do an entire video talking more on just this part. But again, just my takeaway from it is that uh, our offensive line, which we're going to get into deeper on this video, uh, still needs some work and that's probably still going to be the case when the season starts more than likely i'm just saying i'm calling it how it is right now and nikosi perry gives us more of that speed and athleticism that if we're going to if the pocket is going to collapse he can provide those rollouts and get us those extra yards uh, when we need it most and i feel like that nikosi perry is the only one right now that really brings that to the table that dynamic that we need and again, speaking of the, the offensive line collapsing, another side note about the quarterbacks uh, is the amount of sacks just seems very high to me, even for a spring game. Uh, our offensive line, it worries me. Like, it really worries me a lot right now. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. Uh, again, we, we could make a whole other video talking about that as well. Uh, you can't just completely point all the fingers to that. Uh, but again, the offensive line needs a lot of work. That's, 
That's too many sacks. I think it was nine sacks in total in the spring game. That's a lot, and uh, that's honestly unacceptable. Uh, it made our run game overall non-existent, but it, it made it very difficult to run the ball. And we're going to our offensive line needs work. It needs serious work. And I don't want you guys watching this video thinking that I am one of the people on the Perry bandwagon. I'm not on anyone's bandwagon. I'm I'm not on just 100% go Rozier. I'm not 100%. Go Perry. I'm not, let's take the, the freshman in Williams and throw him in the fire. I am, I want whoever puts us in the best position to win. Whoever is the most athletic, whoever is the strongest, whoever is the fastest, that's who I want as the starting quarterback for Miami. And again, I trust and hope that Mark Rick will make that right decision when the time comes. And continuing with offensive stats, moving on to the running backs. And also, again, keep in mind, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, some of these stats may change just a little, and I may have some more stats coming in at a later point. This is just what I have my hands on right now. Uh, I do know that Homer had seven carries for 29 yards, and Burns had five carries for 14 yards. I do not, unfortunately, have the stats available for DJ Dallas just yet and the same kind of for Lingard I do know that Lingard had at least three carries for 13 yards and that he worked with the twos again I don't expect those uh, running back stats to be a, a lot more just honestly because again the the run game overall uh, was not very good our, our offensive line did not block very well they didn't get off the ball they didn't create running lanes and uh, running was just tough in the spring game. So uh, again, those stats are probably going to be overall pretty accurate, but there may be a couple of other things here and there that come in. And still continuing on with more offensive stats, wide receivers and tight ends. Uh, I'm still waiting again for all of the stats to come in, but we're going to cover the big ones. Uh, Hightower is probably, I don't know, maybe MVP, honestly, of the spring game. Uh, Hightower had four receptions for 100 yards and two touchdowns. So this guy is a freshman, and he is just balling out. Uh, he's had a, a really good spring, and he really showed up big in the spring game as well. Uh, I know that Cager had two receptions for 48 yards, so two really big catches for him. Uh, Palindi had two receptions for 40 yards, and Langham had 61 yards total. I'm not sure about how many receptions that was, but I do know that he had 61 yards in total. Speaking of the tight ends, uh, our tight end play still leaves a lot to be desired as well. Now we do have, keep in mind, some talent at tight end that is coming in, uh, so hopefully that will improve, but as it stands right now, as of the 2018 spring game, the tight end play still leaves a lot to be desired so far. Making a transition over to defense, again, we're not hitting every stat, but we're going to hit the big ones. On defense, Garvin had three sacks, and a name that we are all starting to get familiar with, Gregory Russo had three sacks as well. Uh, Russo has had a huge impact in the spring so far, and I'm really excited to see what he brings to the table because dude is a beast. And in case you were wondering, the turnover chain did make an appearance during the spring game as freshman cornerback Frierson picked off Perry in the end zone. Uh, Frierson was also responsible for one of the sacks as well. This guy is going to be a baller. Again, he is a freshman, and he's had a pretty big spring so far. Overall, uh, the cornerbacks played very well. Honestly, kind of as expected. Uh, they are as violent and savage as last season. The linebackers and safeties are all looking good as well. Again, I don't have exact stats on how many tackles each, each player had. Uh, but everyone on defense seems to swarm to the ball. And they really just bring a ton of energy to every down. They, just, they don't give up. So uh, again, look for the defense to just be as mean and as savage and violent as they were last season. I love it. And uh, again, hope we might have some more defensive stats later on down the road, but just know that overall they played pretty darn well in the spring game. And the defensive line, again, just absolute savage. Uh, they really, again, touch, I touched on this earlier, they made running very difficult all day. They just continuously cause problems 
for the offensive line. And hopefully it's not just that our offensive line is that bad. I hope it's that our defensive line is that good. Uh, so hopefully they can whip the O-line into shape and hopefully they give opposing teams uh, offensive lines just, they just wreak havoc on them all season long. I'm really excited to see what this defensive line can do when they're in an actual live game situation. But my biggest takeaway from the spring uh, is still that, again, I, I'm not on any particular bandwagon for any of the quarterbacks. Uh, I still can't quite put my finger on who I say necessarily should start. Uh, but again, if our offensive line, I'll say this, if our offensive line is going to perform the way that it has in the spring and the spring game, we need a very athletic quarterback behind the center that can make something happen no matter what. We need someone who's fast, someone who's athletic, someone who has an absolute rocket for an arm. And I think you guys know who uh, might, who I might be talking about who might be able to fill that position. But again, I'm hoping and trusting that CMR will make that call and we will get the right quarterback in that position. And let me know down in the comment section below, uh, if you went to the spring game, let me know uh, what worries you, what concerns you, what you're excited about. Because there's a lot of good things too. It's not all negatives. Of course, we always need work. We always need to improve. So let me know in the comment section what you're excited about, what you think looks good. We've got some of the fastest wide receivers in college football. Another quick note before we end, there were no injuries. That is always a good thing. That always excites me. And also keep in mind there were some players that did not participate in the spring game. Um, the players that were missing in action were McLeod, Najoku, Amon Richards, Charles Perry, and Demetrius Jackson. Uh, so none of those players participated in the spring game. But remember guys, uh, also as well, we are trying to reach 3,000 subs. When we get that, I will drop the new Miami Hurricanes 2018 rap video. It's already recorded, ready to drop. We hit that 3,000 mark and I will upload that video. I appreciate all the love you guys showed this channel consistently. I love all of my Hurricanes family. More spring talk coming soon, but this was kind of a just quick hit you with some stats. Let's talk about the QB's offense and defense a little bit. Hit the big stats. We can cover some more numbers later on. But remember, guys, we are all one big happy college football family. But at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. College football vids, peace out, guys.